A deadly underwater pipeline explosion sent shockwaves through the coastal Bend community back in August of 2020. So the blast that left four dead was the topic today at the National Transportation Safety Board's meeting. Our Andrew Christensen listened in on the review. He is live where that explosion happened near there. Andrew, you talked to the chair of NTSB and what did she say? Well, she tells me that they've been investigating this incident for more than a year now. She says with a few more safety precautions, this incident could have been avoided. It was an explosion that rocked Corpus Christi, resulting in four deaths and at least five injuries. Today, the National Transportation Safety Board voted on their findings, determined a probable cause, and gave their recommendations. Uh, their chair, Jennifer Homendy, tells me the NTSB found that Orion, the dredging company involved, didn't put coordinates into a GPS-type system that alerts them when they're too close to a pipeline. We urge uh, operators in the industry to include an incident, including a review of what occurred so that other operators can learn from what went wrong. The NTSB voted, saying Orion's failure to put in the coordinates caused the Wayman L. Boyd dredging vessel to hit an underwater propane pipeline. Hamindy says the companies involved didn't have a risk management program. The board's next step. We will follow up and meet uh, or discuss our recommendations with the recommendation recipients. Recommendations like expanding safety zones when working with underwater pipelines and increasing training requirements so that data can be inputted accurately. It's an incident the NTSB is trying to prevent from happening again. That's why I don't like to use the word accident because it was preventable. And this was a terrible tragedy where lives were lost. And, you know, as I mentioned, serious injuries and in families that are forever shattered. She tells us that 85 percent of the recommendations are actually adopted by the parties. And if companies don't implement them, then the NTSB will work with Congress to adopt them. And just to reiterate, those are just recommendations from the NTSB. The NTSB cannot make any sort of rule changes or guideline changes to the companies. Now, I did reach out to the lawyer of one of the families that represents the family of one of the victims in the explosion. He did not answer me back. Reporting in Corpus Christi, Andrew Christensen, Chris 6 News.